All right, what's up? Today is January the 2nd, 2024. Let's talk about AMD. Let's try to figure out if this stock is expensive because if it is, then we need to anticipate lower prices. You guys can see already right on my chart, we expected that AMD was going to go up in price and it did hit our first ultimate TP price, which is around $150. Right up here at the tippy top of the chart, you guys can see our sell zone. So we're not surprised to see price in AMD not go higher from that zone right now. We told you that that is where selling pressure was going to increase. So don't be surprised. That's why the price action in AMD currently is down almost five and a half percent. So now what? Well, we need to wait because just like we saw price get rejected at the sales zone up here at the top, we now need to see at which buy zone will the buyer step in. First area is right there around $136. Second buy zone will be at the very bottom of our price prediction of around 132. One of, two, one of those two buy zones, I want to see price hold. We're on our way down there now. No time to be worried. No time to question and say, well, the price predicts is going against me. I thought it was going to go continue to go higher in price, but now it's going down. Well, okay, cool. Now we need to see if those buyers are going to pop in at our buy zones. Because if they do, then we have another day to live to see our forecast come to fruition. If they don't, then we'll know the reason why. There's no buying there. There's not enough buying at those zones to keep the market from falling further in AMD. Now, maybe the chart gives us a very quick glance as to what could potentially happen in the future. Let's look at this on the two day. Okay. Now, right now the market is weak. It is bearish. Let's take a, let's let's be real. Let's be honest, and let's not try to lie to ourselves and say that this market is bullish right now. So I'm trying to tell you to be patient and wait to see if the buying pressure is going to increase at our zones. If they do, cool. If they don't, it's still cool because we just know we need to play the market move to the downside then. AMD on the three. Okay. Now we combine all of this information of us seeing weakness on the two day time frame of us currently seeing weakness on the three day time frame and how price got rejected at this sell zone, you have to gain more points to the sellers of AMD right now. You have to because they're giving you more credibility that they are controlling the price action right now. If you're a buyer, you need to stand by and see whether or not they're going to hit these buy zones that I just talked about earlier in the video. AMD on the five, okay? AMD on the weekly, two weeks. Here's AMD on the three. Let's take a look at AMD on three on the 30 minute chart. Again, this is massively weak. Like if I really wanted to, I would cancel out this price prediction right now and play AMD down. I may even do that right now because looking at this on three on 30 minute chart, just the last two 330 minute bars is extreme weakness comparative to looking at how long the market took for AMD to go up. All of that is being wasted off of two 330 minute price bars. That's it, just two. AMD on the weekly, I mean on the 90 minute chart. Here's AMD on the 30. Okay. So let me see. If I do put on a price prediction now at AMD, looking for the market to come to our zones, that still gives us what? Two and a half percent, 2.63 percent, the low of that buy zone. And then again here, five and a half percent around 132. Hmm. Things, choices, decisions that you should make. What should you do? Should we let this play go because it did hit our first target at the, the top and play the move to the downside? Or should we just kick back and let the market just work itself out? and see, but there's no guarantee that buyers are gonna hold these buy zones here. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm, what should you do? Well, to me, this is what I am going to do. I'm gonna cancel out this price prediction, and I would tell you congratulations to you if you was able to bag some profit at that sell zone 7% there, because now we are going to look for price 
and AMD to go down. We already got it there. All right, cool. Back on the daily. Let's fix this up. Let's get rid of this. And we can now see that AMD has resistance up here. That's what, 8%? Yep, 8% there. These are our targets. First target is here, this buy zone. Anywhere in it, above it, at the high, at the low of the buy zone, 2.5% there. Second target is down here at the second buy zone. 132.50, well, even 131.82, around there, 5.5%. I'm just gonna do those two for the time being, because if we don't hold this bottom buy zone, then we'll have to aim a little bit lower, okay? So let's just do it here first. I can definitely see that maybe tomorrow with all of this price action here in AMD, the market may actually go up. Cause this is where the buyers really are. So we'll see soon. Let's see what happens. Give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain your profitability and as always trade different.